Well, thank you very much indeed for uh, joining us today. We really appreciate you taking the time. So here we are in uh, San Antonio. Great to be in San Antonio. Yes, it's lovely. Oh, get ready for the conference. Uh, I hear there's something like 400 uh, sessions for people to choose. There's a lot of content here this week. That's right. Uh, so the organization uh, provides, this is our major event, our annual conference, and uh, we have a number of um, sessions, types of sessions. Some of them are presentations, some of them are workshops, uh, some of them are large plenary sessions where people get a lot of information. So there's a, a wide variety of things for people to choose from. And why do you think people come to the conference? What is it in the conference for members? I think there are multiple reasons a, a person would come to this conference. One of the reasons they might, sh they might, might be here is to uh, share what their experiences are and what their knowledge is around uh, topics that are of interest to engineering educators like themselves. Another topic or another area, thing that they might be interested in coming for is for the networking capability that is here. Uh, you have people from um, a lot of universities, not only in the United States but around the world, will come to the conference. And we have corporate um, members, corporate people from industry who will be here. Uh, so there are, there's a nice variety of individuals that people can network with. And another opportunity, of course, is to learn from those that are here. And that's perhaps the biggest element. I think people really come here to walk away with something that they can either put into practice or will help inform their decisions that they make about the kinds of things they're doing at their institution. So, past uh, ASE president, mm -hmm. I, I, I know you, ASE is very much in a, in a public policy role, isn't it, in a, in, a, in a lobbying role. Engineering and the role of engineering in societies is a big issue in the U.S. right at the moment. Yes, it is. Um, and I think that this, this is not um, unique to the United States, certainly, uh, but I think everybody recognizes that uh, educating uh, a, a technical workforce is a critical and national, of national interest, of global interest. And I think what, we're, what the people that are here, the individuals that are here, whether they are faculty or whether they are people from industry, recognize that kind of a role that ASE plays. Certainly, we build upon whatever national directives, imperatives, or messages that we're hearing. That's certainly true. Uh, but we're also shaping those as well. And we provide information that enables some of those agendas to be brought forward. Uh, so when people are talking about access, to engineering education, we talk about how broadly is our access. Uh, we talk about are we reaching a diverse population? Are we um, creating an enthusiastic following for engineering? And of course there's been a lot of interest in science, there's been a lot of interest in, in mathematics, uh, but there is now also a greater recognition of engineering and engineering's role and the engineering educator and engineering technologist role. Final question, what health do you think uh, that uh, engineering education is in in the U.S. right at the moment? Well, I think we're in a very good position from the standpoint of, of uh, looking at the, the major issues that are of importance uh, to our country and to the world. Um, we work with a lot of different organizations um, keying off of their messages. The National Academy of Engineers is certainly an example. Um, and I think when you're uh, paying attention to the issues, not ignoring them, you are in a better position. You're becoming stronger. And I think that's the, the area that, that we probably serve very well, is enabling people, enabling institutions, enabling organizations to become stronger through engineering and engineering technology education. Well, thank you ever so much indeed you're for welcome. joining us today. I hope you really enjoy the conference. Oh, thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. We're glad you're here.